So, we're loading. Okay, health and safety warning. Let's get rid of that. Enter. Whoa. Okay, so Seven Hills Games. Right, nice little screen. Uh, 3D section, real time Bernard's synthesis engine by two big ears. Okay, so it's must be some good sounds. Okay, so you're getting very sleepy. Press space to sleep and press R to recenter yourself. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. <coughs> so I'm lying down on a bed in a room. In a little haunted house. That's really cool. Okay, so let's hit that space bar. Okay, so I'm going to sleep. Falling asleep. Okay. Oh, cool. So I'm looking around and black clouds and going across a bridge and a cart orders a train. Yeah, that's cool. dead guy hanging from the bridge uh, there's the moon and the trees are moving when I move my head cool so who's this guy he's got all flies buzzing around him oh, that's cool okay well, there's a duck the freakiest looking duck I've ever seen and a deck playing music Okay, the park or die, okay, lovely. The eyeball is staring at me. Oh, bubbles. We've got a witch and a wizard and teddy bear waving and it's like a rave with a demon and a skeleton and a boxer. Crazy. Put flashing lights inside. And again the trees are moving when they move. Oh, that's a bit disorientating when the cart moves like that. Okay, that was cool. Crow flies in, I hear it over my left shoulder, coming from back to front. Immediate death, eventual death. Okay, those rain effects are brilliant. Especially the sound of the rain and the thunder. We've got some zombies. Yeah, those models are pretty impressive. Whoa! That's pretty cool. Yeah, those guys were fairly impressive. Um, so, going through a forest now, I think, are we? Yeah, the thunder and lightning is really cool. The, way the, the lightning feels real. Um, very, very immersive. Oregon the sounds in this are very good, very impressive. Okay, so going uphill. It's a bit of a, a build up in the sound effects, so I'm assuming something's gonna happen that the wheels went through the road. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the drop. Okay, so on the roller coaster, here we go. Okay. Not that impressive. Um, cart feels very 2D or something. Um, yeah, the trees appearing in front of me as I'm traveling aren't great. The tarantula looks pretty cool. Um, the trees appearing take away from the realism. Like, I can see them appearing in front of me. Um, and, like, the branches and leaves would be better if they brushed across. Uh, against my face rather than me drive through them. So down a valleyway here now and into a church. Okay, this is cool. Yeah, this is really cool. Travelling through all these colours and it's like an acid trip. That is so cool. And we're back in the forest. Who the hell's that? It's gone there again, all thunder and lightning again, and a woman screaming. There's a tower. It's like a Roman temple, and I can hear.
here breathing that I assume is coming from behind me. And there he is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. The modeling is very impressive. And ah, it's over. Okay, so we're back to start. I'll hit R to recenter so I'm back in the house. And oh, there's some kind of demon in the corner. Can we get to him at all? No? Can't move. Okay. Right. <clears throat> so yeah, um yeah, that was a really cool demo. Um I will be recommending it to my friends, uh, and I will be demoing it for them. Um as far as roller coaster kind of rail games go uh, and demos that I've seen on the Oculus Rift so far it wasn't that impressive the cart moving was very I don't know how to put it, it was very didn't feel too real cart didn't roll with the turns and the corners it didn't bounce on the, the kind of bumps in the road um, the sound in the game was or in the demonstration was extremely uh, impressive the thunder and lightning the rain effects um they're some of the best I've seen and heard so far uh, using the Oculus. Um, characters in the game as well, good and freaky, especially the guy at the end. Um, could work him into a lot of horror experiences using the Oculus Rift. Um, I could have done without seeing the pit or the um the duck. That is, <laughs> that's very freaky. Um, the trees moving when you move your head. I don't know if that is intentional. It didn't feel right um so you know i would recommend that be taken away if it was intentional if it wasn't intentional then obviously it's just a glitch that can be worked on um what else about it um as far as the horror simulator goes um it's on the right track with the oculus rift again it's it seems to me like a rough cut um and can be worked on a, a lot more um, but that whole genre, I think, is what's going to make the Oculus Rift big. You've your first-person shooters, which are great fun, but the ones where you stand back and you are terrified are going to be the ones that get people um, and can only increase the popularity of the headset. So, yeah, that's uh, my review of Helicot City. I hope it was of some help, and uh, I'd be delighted to do more reviews for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs>